Hey guys, Shane here with eTrail.com. Today I have a 2016 Volvo XC90, and I want to walk through how to install the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness. This wiring harness is going to be designed to live inside the vehicle. Installation is going to be very easy. It's going to connect the factory wiring or plugs behind each tail light. Battery is located here on the driver's side, so it makes it a very easy installation. When you're ready to use it, you simply pull it out, lay it over top this rubber seal here, and then close your hatch. It's going to have a dust cap. It's going to help protect your connections when you're not using it and you have it stored away. It's going to give us 3 amps per circuit for our stop and turn signals, 6 amps per circuit for our tail light. So it's going to give us uh, plenty of amperage to run some extra lights. Maybe we have a trailer that has a few extra LED lights on it. It's going to give us plenty of amperage so it doesn't draw power from the vehicle itself. It's also going to have a converter box and what the converter box does is a protective factory wiring on the vehicle from any back feed from the trailer if there's a wiring issue. This wiring harness is going to be compatible with 5, 6, and 7 pole adapters, which are sold separately, can be found here at eTrailer. When we're not using it, you simply roll it up, store it in an out of the way compartment until next time. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get it installed. First thing we need to do is we need to remove all of our floor coverings. Removing your spare tire is optional, you don't have to do that. I did it to give me a little bit more room uh, to get these fasteners off here on this sill plate. We're going to take a 9 16th, I'm sorry, a 5 16th socket. We're going to move the two bolts holding our lower panel on or our sill plate on. And we're going to just pull up on it, pop it out and set it aside. On our driver's side, we're going to remove this panel, simply turn this knob to unlock it. That's going to give us access to our battery. We come right over here to our tie down, use the same socket, we're going to remove the bolt holding it in place. We're going to do that same thing on the passenger side. The only difference is going to be we're not going to have this panel we have to remove. You're going to have a wire that goes right into the back side of the tail light. You're going to push down a little gray tab here at the top and pull out. We're going to take our wiring harness with the yellow end and we're going to just place the plugs in the proper locations. The one that came off of the back of the light, we'll just plug right into the end of it, just like that. We're gonna take our self-tapper, get our ground wire, which is a white wire coming from our converter box. We need to make sure it mounts to a metal surface. I'm gonna put it right there where that wiring is clipped in. I'm going to take my converter box and I'm going to zip tie it right to this factory wiring right here. We're going to take the connector with the green wire over to our passenger side. We're going to connect it behind the tail light just like we did with this one. I'm going to take my green wire, I'm going to zip tie it right to this factory wiring. I'm going to make sure we're leaving enough inside here. Take a 13 millimeter socket and move the nut right here on the top of the battery. Take the ring terminal, make sure the fuse is not in the holder. We're going to add it on, reinstall the nut. I'm 
once you get that on, you can install your fuse. Once you get it connected to your battery, your fuse in place, we can test it, make sure it's working correctly, and then reinstall any of our panels that we removed. Brake lights, left turn, right turn, running lights. Once you've tested everything out, you know it's working correctly, simply roll it up, put it in your lower compartment, and you're ready to go. It's gonna do it for look at and installation on the Kurt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness on a 2016 Volvo XC90.